Welcome to Sweet Rep's Beginner's Guide to NetSuite Development, where you can learn how to take your suite scripting to the next level. In this video, we're going to walk through how to get a value from a field and use it in the alert box that we created in our last video. Here is the code we left off with in the last video. Since we need to get a field value from the record, we need to get the record object first. To get the record object, we have to add one simple line of code, context.currentRecord. You will want to create a variable that stores the record object so that you can use it throughout the rest of your script. That looks like var current record equals context.current record. Once you add that to your code, it should look like this. Now we're ready to get a record field value with our script. Since the record we've been working with is the customer record, let's get the customer's first name. The first thing we need to do when getting the value of a field is to find the internal ID of that field. You could do that a couple different ways, but the simplest way to do it would be to navigate to the customer record and click on the name of the name field. A field information box should appear and the internal ID should be in the top right corner of the box. If this is not the case for you, go to set preferences and be sure that show internal IDs under the general tab is checked. The function to get a field value is get value and it needs one piece of information, the field's internal ID. To get the field value from the current customer record, you would start with the record object that we created, current record, and append a get value to the end of it like this, current record dot get value. Then you would add the field's internal ID to it like this. Notice that we are telling it what field to get the value from by adding field ID first name inside the parentheses and brackets. Let's create a variable called first name to hold the customer's first name so that we can use it later in the script. Creating that variable will look like this. Adding that to our script, our entire script should look like this. Now we can add the first name variable that we created to the alert box. You can have the message text say something like, you are viewing Bob. To do that, you need to modify the dialog.alert section like this. We change the text to you are viewing and since we are adding in the first name variable, we just need to do plus first name. Now your script should look like this. Now you can navigate to the script record in NetSuite and update the code to the latest version. To do that, view the script record, go to the scripts tab, click edit next to the script file, copy your new code and paste it in the window that pops up to replace the old code and save the script. To test your code, edit a customer record and see how the updated message now includes the customer's first name. Thanks for watching. To see more of our videos on NetSuite development, be sure to follow us on LinkedIn, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit us at sweetrep.com.